Today we're going to be reviewing the bow tie method. This is another strategy to use uh, for solving multiplication problems. Last night the students had homework. We're going to be reviewing the homework on how to use this method alone. Right now the students are learning different strategies for solving the same problem. They are expected to solve each problem based on the method that has been instructed. So what the students are going to be doing is they're going to be breaking up these numbers in their place values. So 42 is made up by 40, so 4 tens is 40, and 2 ones, which is the 2. 36 is made up of 3 tens, which is 30, and 6 ones, which is just 6. Our bow tie method is a form of cross multiplication, which is basically the same thing in the way that parents were taught when they were in elementary school, which is just standard algorithm calculation. This is now expanding it to see the values of the numbers instead of just memorizing a method. Students will put an equal bar underneath the numbers. They can begin either way that they would like. The end goal is that they are going to create a bow tie in calculation. So here we're going to start with our 6, 1, and we're going to multiply times 40, which is 4, 10. So they're going to write the equation of 40 times 6, which when it is multiplied, 6 times 4 is 24, but since we have 24 tens, that would equal 240. So we're working with values of the numbers, not just digits. Our next step is we're going to cross this way, and we're going to multiply 30 times 2. When we multiply 30 times 2, we get the product of 60. We're going to come down, we're going to multiply the two ones, so we have 2 times 6, which is going to equal 12. The final step that the students are going to multiply is they're going to multiply their tenths place times their tenths place, which is going to give them 40 times 30, so this would be this part of a standard algorithm using what we called old school method and we have 40 times 30 which if we multiply take off the zeros for now we look at 4 times 3 that's going to give us 12 but since both digits are values of 10 we're looking at <coughs> pushing our value into the thousands place for 1200 now the students are not finished this is what we call breaking apart. So they've broken up the part of the value. From here, when we tell the kids what they break apart, they're going to have to put together. When we put together, that indicates that we are adding. So off to the side, the students are going to take their product and they're going to add them up. So they're going to take 1,200. They're going to take 240, 60, and 12. It is extremely important that the students line up every digit in their correct place value. This will help them when they are adding. So we're going to add all our ones place together and we have three zeros and a two, so we have two. Four plus six is ten, plus one more gives us eleven. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 2 more will give us 5, and then we have a, a digit in the thousandth place and nothing being added with it, so we're going to just bring that down. We've got 1, 2, 3, comma, and so our, pro our product of 42 times 36 is 1,512. We'll do another one from their homework. 86 times 47. Again, we're not working with just numbers. We are working with values of these numbers. What each number is worth in their place values that they're in. 
So we're going to break up 86. So they should have 80 and 6, working with the values of each place. 4 tenths is 40, and 7 one. Now we can go ahead and multiply. We're going to take 7 times 80, which 8 times 7 is 56. But because it's in the tenth place, that's 56 tens, which will give us a value of 560. We're going to take 40 times 6, So 40 times 6, 6 times 4, is 24, but again, the value is in the 10, so that would be 240. 6 times 7, and 6 times 7 would be 42. And then we're going to take our final one, 80 times 40. When we multiply 8 times 4 alone, we don't look at these zeros first. We're going to just look at this first digit. So 8 times 4 is going to be 32. And we have 32, but the 8 is a value of in the tenth place, and the 4 is a value in the tenth place. This is going to shift us over into the thousand place value. Again, what we break apart, we have to put back together. We're going to add 3,200, 560, 240, and 42. Everything is lined up in its correct place value. So now we add 6 and 4 is 10 plus 4 more will give us 14. Carry our 1. We have 1 and 2 is 3, plus 5 more is 8, plus 2 more is 10. Carry over. 1 and 3 is 4. So the product of 86 times 47 is 4,042. Now, The older school method works only with the digits and just simply multiplying the digits. This is not enough anymore. The students have to understand that each digit has a value. It's worth something. So it's no longer just memorizing a pattern of how to multiply. It's also understanding what each digit is worth. This is the point of the bow tie method is to show the students that each digit is not just a single digit. It's worth something based on its place value that it is in. I hope this helps parents.